This dress has pockets. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am so excited because last week we did our runway review reaction video that you guys love so much. And I told you guys in that video that I'm specifically looking at pieces that I can make for my spring wardrobe. I'm trying to build this wardrobe, this collection, not necessarily a capsule collection, but kind of. And so we're kicking it off with adding pockets. Yes, I went thrifting and I found this amazing green dress. It's a wrap dress, so I wasn't too concerned that it's a little bit big on me. You could wrap it and adjust it like that. So we are going to add pockets to this and this method, you can pretty much do this to add pockets to anything. So let's do it. Okay, so we're starting off with this green dress with daisy flowers, I think. And I thrifted this recently for like $7, uh, $7.80, almost $8. And I thought it was really cool for spring, Green is my favorite color. You can see me trying it on here for a TikTok that I did. And we are going to figure out how to make pockets for this because it's a wrap dress, but it doesn't have pockets. And I just thought it would be so much better with pockets. So let's figure out what we can use to make pockets with this. Now, it is a pretty long dress. Optimally, it would be best to use the material that matches. The dress so if i were going to cut this shorter i could just go ahead and use the piece that i'm going to cut off as the material for the pocket but i don't want to cut any of this off it's a maxi dress and you know i think i like the length for right now at any rate i'm not ready to cut it off so i think we're going to find something white and then you want to find something that is as close as possible to the weight of the material that you are adding the pocket to so say you're adding pocket to like dress pants then you want to you can use a little something a little bit lighter but uh in weight but you want something similar in weight and in stretchiness so like if i were going to add pockets to jogging pants then i would use stretchy fabric like the jogging pants because you want it to stretch or not stretch the same way as the material you want it to move together all right so i am going to attempt to make my pockets out of the <laughs> the rest of this shirt like i said i tell you guys often i try to save my scraps as much as possible and i'm glad i did i was looking for a scrap piece of dress shirt and this is what i found so i'm just going to try to cut off as many flat pieces as i can from here and see what i come up with now this is going to be the problem these two pieces right here um they're the smallest so we may go with a hmm, fairly small pocket but yeah i think it'll be enough what i'm trying to do is line up all the flat sides all right and i think i'm going to iron these just to make sure i'm using these as you know like because we're low on fabric so i want to get as much out of these as possible and a lot of people ask me about this tiny iron. Uh, the brand is Steamfast. This is not sponsored. My mother gave it to me as a gift and I really like it. And I'm just using my Cricut Easy Press pad underneath. All right, so now I'm gonna give it a fresh cut so that they're all straight. And then you want to make sure we have enough for my hand to fit in. I think we do. Like I said, it's not gonna be the biggest pocket in the world, but we're gonna use what we have. And we wanna measure about a five inch opening for the pocket. And this is a heat erasable pen. Then we put our hand in so that the thumb is going towards the top of the pocket. So this is, you know, going down. And you just wanna trace your hand so that in the end, it kind of looks like a dog ear. Now the unfortunate part is that I'm using my right hand and I'm right-handed. <laughs> now I can go out a little bit more if I want to here. Curve that around, give it a little, yeah. And then we're gonna cut it out, but make sure that we give at least a half an inch for a seam allowance. All right, so that gives me two layers for one pocket and two layers for the other. But, <laughs> Well, it doesn't make any difference to me. It's gonna, it's not gonna be saying you, I do still have the rest of an actual pocket. So it'll just be our little secret, little mini pocket inside the pocket. 
And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You do not want to miss this spring wardrobe. So many ideas that you can uh, apply to your own wardrobe. Even if you don't particularly like my style, I know that there's so many tips and tricks and inspiration that you can get out of this. So definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, so whatever you're doing it to, a dress is actually the easiest thing to add uh, pockets to. And this one in particular, because it's a wrap dress, but whatever it is, whether it's pants, whether it's a dress, um, you want to, for this particular type of pocket, you need to have a side seam in order to add it. If it doesn't have a side seam and it's just like one piece over the side, then you'll have to cut it up the side and then take a seam all the way back down. So if that garment fits you, before you do this, then you can't. You can't use that garment to add pockets because then it's gonna be too small for you. But that is possible if the garment was already too big for you and you wanted to take it in, you can go ahead and add pockets in it at that time. But you want to try it on and figure out where you want the pocket to start and add a pin there. Normally that's like right below your hip area. So I added a pin right here. So we are going to take this seam apart above here through five inches and then below the five inches. Okay, so the five inches is here. So we're gonna take that seam out above and below there. We don't wanna take it out exactly five inches because that it just makes things too hard for us. Like a good, maybe two inches past the pocket. But I am, let me, I want to add a mark. so that if something happens and my pins fall out, I know what I was trying to do. Okay, all right, so now we have our side open enough for us to put the pocket in. And we also wanna do this to the other side, making sure that we match up the seam make sure our pockets, you know, one pocket is in one height, another pocket, another height. All right, so once we get both of them open and marked, we can take our pocket and line it up there. Well, first of all, we wanna take, before we do any of this, we wanna take each layer of the pocket and either serge it or use the overlock stitch on your sewing machine. You can also add fray check to the edges to make sure that this doesn't fray because this is a frayable material. If you're doing knit or a jersey, something that doesn't fray, t-shirt material, uh, sweat pants, you know, stuff like that, then you won't need to do this. But for this men's dress shirt material, this cotton, um, it will fray. So it needs to be checked on the edges. All right, so here we are with our pockets that are served separately. And I'm gonna tell you something very important because I just made a mistake. And you guys know how much I hate seam ripping, but I had to do it. It had to be done. <laughs> you want to sew these to the right side of the fabric. So we're gonna turn this over to the right side of the dress. You can see where we have marked our pockets. You wanna distinguish where the top of the dress is from the bottom of the dress going down this direction because you want your dog ears going down. And then you wanna line your pockets up with each side. And from this point, I'm going to go ahead and take the pins out because what we're gonna do is pin each pocket to each side while we try to make sure that they're even with one another. All right, so we have those both pinned and we're going to sew them down separately. So I'm gonna go sew a stitch on this one and then sew a stitch on this one. All right, so we have our pockets sewn in and once I do that, I wanna just, I'm just gonna sew this flat because what we're gonna do is fold it over and make a seam. We wanna make sure that this seam is that direction. And we're gonna sew the pocket down to the seam. That way your pockets stay inside your garment and they don't 
have a tendency to come out. I don't know if you have had that happen to you, but I've had garments where the pockets like always seem to want to come out and they just just sitting there, you know, it's like weird. So this is supposed to help that to not happen. In addition to making your garments look more professional. All right, so we're gonna go make our top stitches there and there. All right, so we just sewed them that little top stitch there. And next I'm going to iron the one that goes towards the front of the dress. I'm gonna iron that one to the inside so that it more likely has a tendency to stay to the inside. You can also add a top stitch there if you like. All right, now we wanna turn everything inside out and we're gonna finish it up by sewing the pockets and the partial open seam back together. One very important thing you wanna make sure is that your seams line up. Like you really wanna make sure that those seams line up both on the top and the bottom. And then you can see here, my secret pocket is still there. And I managed to get it to the inside of the pocket and not the outside of the pocket. <laughs> All right, so lastly, we're gonna go and sew the edge back together. Now, um, one thing that I did miss, when we first opened up the seam, I should have individually searched the edges of the dress because now they're raw and I'll have to go back with fray check in order to make them not fray. So it's not a total loss, but you know, if you don't wanna use fray check or anything like that, then just go ahead, once you open it up, just individually um, search that side and that side. Here we go, an inseam pocket. All right, we did it. We added pockets. Now this dress has pockets and I am super excited. Of course, that TikTok is going through my head. It has pockets and I'm super excited about this. And you do not want to miss how I styled this. So let me, let me before I show you, let me tell you that in my mind, this dress needed something. I am not a frilly type of dress. Like I love juxtaposition. I love like the contrast of hard and soft. Like I love, love, love that. And I have been telling you guys for a long time that I wanted a harness. So with that being said, let's style it. made the harness. You will be seeing that in the very next video after this one, but it looks so good with the dress. I told you guys my favorite color is green. You can see that here, but the green and the black, the hard and the soft, yes. Oh, I love it. I love it so much, so much. <laughs> so dramatic. I cannot wait to style the harness in a lot of different ways, but I am so glad that I was able to find a way to style this dress that is completely me and what this video is about. The ability now to add pockets to everything. 
And this isn't the only pocket tutorial I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna be giving you guys a way to add cargo pockets as well. So I hope you're super excited about that. And definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything that's coming up. The harness video, po more pocket videos, and everything else that I said that I was gonna make in that spring runway reaction. And if you haven't seen that, I will add it right here for you, yes, so that you can see it and I will see you guys in the very next one. Come back every Thursday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for new videos. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!